everybody, and welcome to TK's Musion Saturday Slam Fest episode 21 for June 4th, 2016. Igniting the flame for singles this week is the Angel Beats Guardian Kanade Tachibana. After flushing Burst Man down the tubes, she's looking to snuff out the sneaky Shinobi. However, the stealthy ninja and his specials retire Titus Strife and set him packing the Neo Mega Man show. Will the same fate befall the Afterlife's powerhouse? Random stage, give us the answers. Hope you all enjoy. Back and forth action is expected between these two. Anything less, I'd be shocked. Kanade! Shinobi! On a stormy cliff! Engage, let's go! As Shinobi opens up with a ninja dart, a laser ring from Kanade, who tries to leap in, gets a sword slash through, and now Shinobi blocks the rest, gets a high kick, knocks Kanade back. Now Kanade tries to leap in, ninja dart catches her out of the air. Now Kanade shoves to the corner, teleports by Shinobi, retaliates with an aerial beam saber combo, now gets him on the ground, chains him into the air, does over half his health already, damn! Now Kanade manages to dodge those ninja darts. Now Shinobi tries to get him with a high kick string. Now tries to get some more high kicks. Now Kanade tried to go for something to blocks the flame wave. And Shinobi tried to ninja dart spam Kanade back in the corner. Tries to shove her back with the sweep kicks. And now a nice beam uppercut right into the aerial beam saber string. Catches Shinobi on the landing. Now another aerial beam saber string. Shinobi hits the ground and Kanade takes him out with the last hit. And Kanade hangs on to half her health as she seals up round one. Round two, can Shinobi bring it back from behind? We'll see, engage. Alright, missed the jump kick from behind. Now tries for a high kick strike, juggling Kanade with the flame summon. And I see now Kanade back on him with the aerial beam saber combo right to the ground. Now goes back into the air again. Does about a third of Shinobi's health. Now Shinobi going back at her with a high kick. She ends up blocking him nicely. Ninja Dark shoving Kanade back pretty hard. Now goes for a flame storm. Ends up missing that. Karate Chop knocks Kanade back. Now see Shinobi miss, miss the sweep kick. Goes for the flame storm. Graces Kanade a little bit. Starts chipping with the ninja darts forcing her back. What the hell? The whole screen just flashed white. What was that? I don't know. Does he know? Shinobi back her into the corner with the high kicks, the ninja darts, and the forearms. Kanade breaks free with the sword slash. As he now tries to go for another saber strike. Now Shinobi knocks her back with the high kicks and the forearms. And the ninja darts spam back at Kanade up. Now see Kanade fires off an energy arm, goes for the laser ring. Now Shinobi goes for a flame storm. Goes for two of them. Kanade takes through both of them nicely. Now Shinobi races up with the ninja darts. Shoves Kanade right back into the corner again. Now gets a high kick string going. Shinobi keeping the pressure on. Try he wants that round too badly. He's going in for forearms. Now goes for some jabs, tries to go for a sweep kick to the high kick, and there she goes. And Shinobi does escape with the round two win, and he will push it into a round three. It's a gauge for the last time. Come on, Kanadi. Goes for the laser ring. Shinobi gets caught out of the air for the second one. Now Kanadi missed the sword slash there. Shinobi gets behind her. Oh man, that's just like Kanadi catches him with the aerial strength right to the ground. As he now Shinobi goes back at her with the karate chop, with the flame storm. Kanadi blocking the ninja dart spam. Now goes for a nice sword slash counter, catches Shinobi nicely. Karate chop to the to her face. Ninja Dart knocks her back, blocks more incoming Ninja Darts from Shinobi. Now Kanade pinned in the corner again, gets a sword slash, ends up missing the aerial string. High kicks forcing Kanade back into the corner. Shinobi just locking her there, goes in with the sweep kick, and now Kanade stuck in the corner still. Now gets a sword slash counter off, now gets the aerial string off to the ground string, right to another aerial string. And now Kanade does about a third of his health. Now goes for another aerial string with that beam saber strike. Gets behind Shinobi. Oh man, gets countered again. White flash corrupting the screen here. Now see Shinobi knocked out of his flamestorm special. Goes for more ninja darts. Goes for another flamestorm. It's a whiffing. Kanade throws up an energy orb and the laser ring. My goodness. Shinobi trying to walk her in the corner here. Gets a jab. Now Kanade in deep trouble. Shinobi trying to bring it back, but no! Kanade with the backhand beam takes him out. And Kanade takes the round three win! as she secures this hard-fought set. 2-1. The ninja assassin Shinobi, he went down fighting, but he suffers his first defeat today at the hands of Angel Beat's greatest. Kanade, a very fierce fighter. A win on Burst Man, and now she picks up another hard-fought win on Shinobi. Yeesh! Hell of a way to open up episode 21. Man, the next single set has a lot to live up to. <laughs> Anyway, stay tuned as I prepare that one. Be right back. Welcome back, Musionites. The 1v1 action continues to elevate as we have another grand debut that promises to be quite electrifying, and that is the Thunder God, Raiden. For his first challenge, he's getting one hell of an opponent in Jin Saotome. He pushed the Earth Toho and Tenshi to the limit back in Episode 9, but now he deals with another deadly elemental enigma. Can he overcome this force with his fierce flames? Random stage, here we go. Hope you all enjoy. Who will get roasted and toasted at the same time? Raiden, Jin, Lex 
electricity versus fire. Engage, let's go. All right, Juno puts up with a sweep kick to the dashing fire punch. Now a sweep kick to a dashing fire punch again. And Raiden getting laid into by Jin in the corner. And Raiden trying to escape. Fire uppercut catches Raiden. Sweep kick to another dashing fire fist. And Raiden on the defensive. He needs to do something. Jin pounding his face in. Now Raiden gets through with the sweep kick to a red house. Nice two chain of moves there. Fire drill kick right to the aura burst from Jin to Raiden. Now Raiden gets grabbed by Jin. Fist to the face. Now Jin trying to stay space flame NATO. Right to Raiden's grill. Now goes to the machine gun special. Raiden's a hell of bullets on Raiden. Does a good chunk of his health. Gets the electric bolt off on Jin. Dashing fire fist knocks Raiden into the corner now. Blocks the flame NATO. Carries with a high kick. Right to the electric bolt. Back and forth now. Raiden trying to bring it back. Blocks the flame NATO. Gets an aerial throw off throwing that bolt shot. As now Raiden gets knocked back into the corner from that dashing fire fist. Flame NATO. And now Raiden with another aerial throw takes out Jin. And Raiden, beautiful comeback in round one. Yeesh! Round two, we'll see if Jin can fire right back and engage again. Alright, Jin opens up with a kick, goes right into a super flame NATO, ends up juggling Raiden pretty good, does some decent damage, as now Jin raced over oh Jin, Jin with the aerial electric bolt to Jin's face, two electric bolts, whoa! And now Jin got a super pile driver off on Raiden, does some decent damage, now see Jin goes for another special, oh man, he ends up summoning some kind of iron fist, electric bolt, and now dashing fire fist to Raiden, knocks him back, sweep kick to a dashing fire fist to Raiden again, now Raiden with the electric bolt, good gravy! As he now Jin going to EX mode, sweep kick to the dashing fire fist again, missed a fire jump kick, as he now Jin pounding on Raiden's face pretty good, now Electric Bolt texts through that, gets a dashing fire fist, as he now missed a jump kick, Electric Bolt goes right through Jin in EX mode, machine gun special, starts to chip away at Raiden here, and as he now Raiden goes to the Electric Bolt, missed that, now a super pile driver, does some good damage, as he now Ra Ra Raiden getting pounded on by Jin right now, and as he, oh my god, Ra Ra Raiden with the aerial throw takes him out! Damn, Raiden barely skirting by this set with a 2-0. Holy crap, it, my god. Raiden doing some big time damage with his electricity, sheesh. Well, his patient playstyle actually worked to his advantage here. Waited for some misses on Jin's part and capitalized with those strong throws. And his strong electrical attacks. Well, Raiden is a thunder god for a reason. He's gonna hit harder than a mortal. And Jin with his EX mode almost brought it back, but he just didn't quite keep the aggression level high enough. I mean, when he kept the flame NATOs and the fire fist going, yeesh, he was unstoppable. But props to Raiden for finding a gap in that def that aggressiveness and defensiveness. Sheesh. Hooray for repeating myself. Seems like I am nowadays. Alrighty! Well, folks, stay tuned as I prepare the first double set of episode 21. We're off to a pretty good start. I mean, we almost had another round three here in singles, but it was not to be. Anyway, stay tuned as I prepare dubs number one. Be right back. I is backs. Now the delicious doubles take center stage as we dish out the first two teams in action. First up, we have the terrifying Toho unit with Moku and Nidori. They flam bathe their carcasses in a tsunami of steam. Now, can they boil up their second straight win by putting the lid on Fire Emblem's Lindus and Tiki? The Marios knock some of the wind out of their sails, but a victory now can easily set them back on the correct course. Who will rise to greater heights? Random Stage, decide that for us, please. Hope you all enjoy. An all-ladies battle royale to kickstart doubles ought to be fun. Team Toho! Team Fire Emblem! Bobbity ship! Engage! Here we go! I see Moku opens up with the flame wave! Nidori with the bubble beam! Metal mallet from Nidori! Ends up clubbing the girls back! Lin is trying to get a counter slash off! Knocks the Toho's away! Now Tiki trying to advance with the white screen! Nidori throws up the water orb special! Now a very marked counter! Ends up slashing Nidori good! Now Moku trying to space with her flame wave! Ends up knocking Tiki back! Now Lin is trying to get a counter slash off! Hitting Nidori good! And ends up dodging Moku's flame wave! Now Moku trying to spin fire attacks, Tiki jumping in with the light screen, trying to protect her partner. Nice teamwork from Linus and Tiki there. Water Orbs summoned from Nidori as Moku tries to shoot out some flame waves. Now Nidori summoned more Water Orbs and Water Lasers. Moku and Nidori trying to space with their specials, and Linus take it out. I didn't even see her go down as he Tiki trying to roll past the toes, but the flame wave from Moku says no. Yeesh! These elemental toes just rinsed them in round one. Linus and Tiki in round two and see if they can come back here. Alright, Nidori opens up with the Water Orb special from the Heavens. Linda's trying to get a counter slash through. And now a Mars counter slash catches Nidori a little bit here. Tiki unloading with the energy clone of Nidori. Now Linda's trying to block the Water Orbs. Now, oh my god! Man, Nidori and Moku sandwiching Linda's not good for her. 
And now Linda's trying to go for a Latin Sword Slash special on Nidori. Ends up chipping away at her. Big flip kick straight to that diving Sword Slash. Now Moku's facing with the Flame Waves with the giant fireball. I see now Linda's trying to advance on Nidori. Nidori's stuck in the corner. And Linda's gets grilled to her death by Moku. And Tiki barely hanging on here. And Tiki throwing up the light screen using the armored soldier to save her. I don't think it's gonna come through for her though. And the unicorn special misses. And Tiki blocking the fire waves from Moku right in the Nidori's mallet. Got Tiki getting juggled by the war arms, and there she goes. Man, not a chance in hell here. Good god! Tiki got juggled to her death hard. Fire Emblem just got smoked in round two. As Team Toho just deal devilish damage 2-0. After that Shadow and Rouge loss, man, they still gotta be fuming. <laughs> and they're really letting it loose on all these other teams. The first 2-0 from Moku and Nidori. Boy, I've never seen Lindis and Tiki get dominated that hard. Hopefully they can rebound in their next set later. As for Moku and Nidori, they are really getting their redemption. If they keep fighting like that, I can see a lot of teams getting 2 0 effortlessly. Well, Melee should be proud of his Tohos here. As should John, because he's a fan of them as well. And any other Toho fan should be pleased with this outcome. Alrighty, folks. Gonna take a drink here of my water. I need it. Ice cold water. And prep myself for doubles match number two. Be right back, all. Alrighty, Roo. Our eyes should be stuck to this potential double superset like glue. Team Mortal Kombat's Liu Kang and Kung Lao haven't been able to catch any break lately, and that trend seems to be continuing. Forcing round threes haven't been a problem, though, as they continue to hold their own against every threat thrown at them. Liu Kang has done more training on the side, a new AI patch boost, so he can better aid Kung Lao. We'll see if it's a game changer as they collide against the seemingly invincible Silver Samurai and Omega Red. These two have been on an absolute tear. They overwhelmed the Mother Boys and the Sonic Squad with their sheer special spam and ridiculous range. Now, can they corner the Shallowin Monks and show them their brutality? I'm sure Raiden is cheering his boys on the side. We'll see if that makes a difference as we get to a random stage. Hope you all enjoy! This is going to be one catastrophic clash to the finish. Woo! Liu Kang, Kung Lao, Silver Samurai, Omega Red, Forest Arena, engage, here we go! I see Omega Red starts with a Super Fist, I see Kung Lao getting knocked back, Liu Kang getting juggled now by Omega Red, now body swing from Kung Lao, right into the flying kick from Liu Kang, following the fireball, now Kung Lao, Liu Kang sandwiching Silver Samurai, nice strategy, I see now Kung Lao, oh Kung Lao, Liu Kang getting forced back to the corner, cable away from Omega Red, this could be bad news here, oh boy, Liu Kang, Kung Lao getting swatted by the cables again from Omega Red, as the, can, the, can the combatants fight back here? Kung Lao go for the head throw. Ends up whiffing it though. Oh, ends up cutting Silver Samurai. There he goes. Oh, wait, no. Omega Red, I think, got off. What's going on here? Oh, the electrical away from Silver Samurai. I think it took Liu Kang out. And Kung Lao with the flipping throw to Silver Samurai. And a big fist takes him out. And Kung Lao barely secures the win for them in round one. Damn, that was a close one. Round two, see if Silver Samurai and Omega Red can sneak back into it. All right, see, Silver Samurai starts with a sword slash combo. Ends up butchering Kung Lao. Liu Kang trying to block. Still slices right through him. Omega Red with the drop kick. Silver Samurai holding up the front now. Omega Red going for the cable wave again. Kung Lao, getting, Kung Lao with the head swipe to the body spin. Catches Silver Samurai. Hat throw from Kung Lao. That's Liu Kang and Kung Lao fighting back here. Let's see now. All the residual electric wave from Silver Samurai. And Liu Kang got fried. And now Silver Samurai missed the Ninja Star. Kung Lao trying to block the eventual Omega Red. But there he goes. Silver Samurai and Omega Red are right back in this bad boy. Taking round two. And we are going to an epic round three against Blast. Time. Here we go. Silver Samurai opened up with a big sword combo. Omega Red racing in. And now Liu Kang trying to land safely here. What's going on? And a big body splash from Omega Red. As the Omega Red juggling both high up in the air. Now Kung Lao trying to get a jab going. Following Liu Kang. But Silver Samurai cuts him out of it. Oh my god. Kung Lao and Liu Kang trying to fight back. And the Icicle Wave takes both combatants out. And the Shallow and Monks got shut up by Silver Samurai's free special as they lock it up 2-1 over Mortal Kombat's finest. Sheesh. Silver Samurai and Omega Red closing that door real quick on Liu Kang and Kung Lao's face. Didn't let them get anything going. It's round two, the Shallow and Monks were trying to fight back. I think it killed their momentum pretty much. Well, we got a round three out of this set, so I'm happy. <laughs> 
Hey, at least Kung Lao and Liu Kang didn't get completely squashed, so they did put up some resistance. Sadly, a, a win still evades them at this very time. Well, I'm actually thinking about maybe having Liu Kang and Kung Lao team up with Raiden and go to 3v3. Maybe they'll do much better together. We can only hope. I mean, Liu Kang and Kung Lao are still at least pushing every team I give them, so I can't get too down on them. Silver Samurai and Omega Red just continuing to unleash the pain and torment on every single opposition they receive. And I doubt that'll ever change, the way they fight, as you can see. Superhuman speed! Aye! Anyways, stay tuned, folks, as I prepare for the 3v3 main event of episode 21. Should be something else. Be right friggin' back. Okay, my peoples, it is finally time for the TK's Musion Saturday Slam Fest episode 21 3v3 main event. Woot Zors! Team Bleach's Ishiko, Renji, and Ikaku are looking for their second win in a row by running rampant all over Team Primal Rage's Sauron, Armadon, and Chaos. Mind you, they are still trying to clean the PPG's footprints off their ass. <laughs> Hopefully their heads will be more in this match, and their chemistry will finally come together. It needs to, because Bleach is up there with the best. They absolutely annihilated Swords of Darkness with a double flawless back in Episode 3. Gotta be honest, folks... This could be another one-sided disaster, but if the Dynamite Ditos and Angry Ape get on it, we could have a memorable matchup. Without further ado, random stage, let's go. Hope you all enjoy. Leech, Primal Rage, please deliver the goods for us. I'm counting on it. Team Bleach, Team Primal Rage. Mega 3v3 main event, hopefully! Yeah, you better bring that anger, Chaos! Engage, here we go! As he Chaos missed the monkey punch, now as he Yushiko leaps to the other side, Reggie and Ikaku going to town on the backside of the final range! Good God, all three of them going fuck wild! Reggie going for the super short whip string, so on, Armadon, Chaos, all dropped in seconds! Good gravy, they got bleached in blades badly in round one. Round two, please, Primal Rage, save some face and dignity here. Alright, Armadon goes for the spike ring, catches Bleach decently, oh god, now all three beast gang juggles, Ishigo goes for the super sword beam wave, envelops the whole screen, and now Chaos goes for an aura burst, but Reggie cuts him off with the sword whip. Oh man, Primal Rage still in trouble here, now Reggie gets a headbutt grab off of one of them, and Sora trying to fight back, gets a tail shot, Armadon, Chaos dropped, Ishigo with the sword beam, sword whip for Reggie, takes out Sauron. Well, they tried to do a little better in round two. They got some more hits off, but that's about it. This is very, very heartbreaking, watching Primal Rage turn into jobbers before my very eyes. Now they get 2 0 by Team Bleach. Oh boy. I kind of expected more out of this main event. Sauron, Armadon, and Chaos seem to lack some kind of synergy here, and that's not good news for their team. And too bad there's not an 8th primal, uh, primal Rage character, otherwise I'd throw him in 4v4 with that character, but... Alas, they're not to be. Sauron, Armadon, and... Chaos, I think they might need a speed intensification. Maybe more of an AI boost, because right now they're not doing much of anything. And it's kind of sad to see. First thing, I mean, I think Bleach punished them harder than the Powerpuffs did. That's saying something. Yeah, Bleach and the Powerpuffs looking pretty untouchable in 3v3 right now. And Primal Rage, please do something in the future to save yourselves. I don't want to get rid of you guys. Anyways, sorry that the main event didn't deliver here. I can't guarantee it's always going to deliver. I mean, you never know. Guess it depends on the teams and whatever. So yeah, hopefully F22 will deliver a much stronger main event. Anyways, we got at least a couple round three, so that's still good. Anyway, stay tuned for Rep 22 coming up next weekend, and I'll be back with more new battles and hopefully more new characters, so stay tuned for that, and I'll see you all later. Peace, friggin' out, all!